Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a finance company. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Now, before we start a finance company, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. Finance companies make loans to individuals and businesses for a variety of reasons. Retail stores, small businesses, and large corporations are examples of commercial customers. Commercial loans can help established businesses build a new office or retail space, as well as new businesses get started. Individual personal loans can include home equity loans, student loans, and auto loans. Starting a finance company necessitates not only a thorough understanding of your target customer's needs and a comprehensive product line, but also a solid business plan outlining how your company will be successful. Furthermore, any new finance company must adhere to stringent state and federal regulations as well as meet initial funding requirements. The first step is to choose a finance firm specialty. Finance companies typically specialize in both the types of loans they make and the customers they serve. The financial, marketing, and operational requirements vary by specialty. Concentrating on a single business model is essential for the successful establishment and operation of a new company. Local mortgage brokers who specialize in refinancing or making new loans to homeowners to factoring companies, factors, that acquire or finance account receivables for small businesses are examples of private finance companies. The decision to pursue a specific finance company specialty should be based on your interests, experiences, and chances of success. Many finance firms are founded by former employees of larger corporations. Former loan officers, underwriters, and broker associates, for example, establish new mortgage brokerage firms that specialize in a specific type of loan, commercial or residential, or work with a single lender. Consider the business specialty that initially drew you in. For example, what drew you to the business? Is substantial startup and operating capital required for the business? Is it possible to start the same business in a different location? Will you be competing with other existing businesses that are similar to yours? The next step is to confirm the business opportunity. A new finance company must be able to attract customers while also making a profit. As a result, it is critical to research the anticipated market space in which the business will compete. What is the size of the market? Who is currently serving potential clients? Are prices consistent? Is the market restricted to a certain geographical area? How do existing businesses attract and serve customers? How do competitors approach marketing and service features differently? Determine your target market or the customers you intend to serve. Explain your intentions to meet their needs. Describe your area of expertise. For example, if your market research shows that a growing number of small startup businesses require loans, explain how the financial products and services you provide are strong enough to capture a significant share of that market. Consider the companies that are already in a competitive environment. Is their size comparable or dominated by a single company? Similar market shares may indicate a slow-growing market or the inability of the companies to differentiate themselves from their competitors. The next step is to identify the business requirements. What are the likely fixed costs of running the business, such as office space, equipment, utilities, salaries, and wages? What business processes are required on a daily basis, marketing, loan officers, underwriters, clerks, and accountants? Will prospective clients come to your physical office, communicate online, or both? Will you require the services of a financial partner, such as a mortgage lender or a bank? Mortgage brokers act as go-betweens for borrowers and lenders, sometimes with discretion up to a certain dollar amount. Factors typically borrow from larger financial institutions to leverage their own capital. You will then need to know how much money is needed to start the business. How much money can you expect to make per client or transaction? What exactly is the break-even sales volume? Before putting your own and other people's money at risk, make sure that profitability is possible, if not likely. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a finance company. 
Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.